Hello Turtles, welcome to Sarah Cat Monkey Bird and Indie Dogs Game Development Arena, where it's been two weeks since the last development report, and I'm still trying to get a little bit better. I've been seriously focused on Rally of Rockets, and have added a few more things to the settings screen. You can now change the um, speed display from miles per hour to kilometers an hour, from metric to uh, imperial. Also, with help of TS Yost, I've got a build and distribute script so I can just do a one-click build and distribute for Mac and Linux. This includes going up to the Rally Rocket server as well as Itch.io servers. Um, kind of working on that on Windows a little bit, but I ran into some troubles on that. It'd still be a two-click two process there since I'd have to run one on Windows and then one on Linux. We did investigate in compiling the Windows build with Ming GW, but that kind of turned out to be a mess. During Ludum Dare 42, I spent the weekend making a small racer. The reason I did this is so that it could use most of the efforts of Ludum Dare and bring them over to Rally of Rockets. The Ludum Dare uh, efforts basically allowed me to create a track environment, which is the current track in Rally of Rockets. However, it's got a lot of work needed to be done. I've also improved the landing physics. So instead of bouncing around so much on landing, the car kind of softens out. There's still some issues with takeoff. You can the rigid body of the car can still collide with the ground, and that causes a lot of bouncing. So still need to work on this, but at least the landings are a lot better. I've also created a lag compensation tool. Essentially, what that is is a tool that allows me to see exactly what every client thought their car position was, what the server thought their position was, and what all the other clients thought everybody else was. Um, this basically has everyone uploading a file to me, and then I can review all of them in, in like a replay mode that shows where all the cars thought they were and where they actually were. And there's some serious time travel that I need to deal with. So time traveling, yay! Speaking of, I had to write a new Blender exporter. This is for what I'm working on this week, and that is for track data. I'm trying to make it so I can split up the track into several little nodes and segments. Therefore, I can complete or start tracking which position the, the players are in. That way you can get first, second, or third, depending on who's in the lead, as well as track the laps and ensure that people are not cheating and cutting huge portions of the track. I'd like to come up with a system that allows the player to go off track a little bit parallel and come back on just fine without any like major penalty, but if you stray far from the track or like at a strong angle, the car will automatically reset, therefore you can't just cut corners and do that. Um, there's a little bit more, but I think I'm going to split that into a second video. Both, mostly that one's my feelings more than what's uh, actually been happening. So if you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe for notifications when I go li uh, when I post another video, which happens randomly. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up because it does help other people find the videos. And I'd like to pe I'd like people to know that I'm making Rally of Rockets. It's a combat racer with arcade physics, huge jumps, freestyle tricks in the air. You can do backflips, all kinds of stuff, and eventually you'll be able to shoot other people online. So until later. Have a good one.